Researchers are reminding expecting moms about the importance of heart health. And here in the U.S., the leading cause of pregnancy-related deaths is cardiovascular disease and cardiomyopathy. That accounts for one in four of all maternal deaths. A new study by the American Heart Association found improving heart health can not only lead to a healthier pregnancy, but also improve a woman's heart health long term. So here to talk more about this, Dr. Salmil Oza. Uh, he is a cardiologist with Ascension St. Vincent's. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you. Something we don't think about, as, as a pregnant woman myself, I'm thinking about my baby. Not really my own heart and other problems that could happen. So explain uh, why issues can come up during pregnancy. So uh, your blood volume during pregnancy actually increases by 50%, mm -hmm. putting enormous strain on your heart. So most people can, can adapt to this, but there are people that uh, during pregnancy have other complications like uh, high blood pressure, um, you can, your heart can become weak, arrhythmias can occur, or abnormal heartbeats can occur more frequently just because of the strain put on the heart. Yeah, so uh, what are some signs and symptoms, like shortness of breath, like what should you be looking out for? Because I feel like other things come up that just because you're pregnant, you're carrying more weight, it's hard to tell what could be linked to the heart. So you're going through so many changes during pregnancy, it's yeah. really hard to tell what's normal and abnormal uh, in each person. The best thing to do is get a regular checkup, uh, which most women do. Um, I think this study that uh, has recently come out just shows that, um, you know, the OBGYNs can do a lot to prevent, uh, to prevent uh, bad things happening later in life. Um, yeah. So I think that's the take home. It really, uh, young people, Obviously, when you're pregnant, you're not worried about heart disease later in your life. But yeah. it's a really, it's a, a wake-up call that, you know, we can prevent things later in life by having healthy pregnancies. And so another part of this is there could be issues that come up and they last beyond pregnancy. Talk about that, how, how it can kind of change your body forever. Sure. So uh, we've all known that health early in life does affect health later in life. Uh, pregnancy is no different. Um, if you have high blood pressure during pregnancy, uh, if you have any other cardiac problems during pregnancy, you're much more likely, ten years, even 10 years later, uh, to have signs of heart disease uh, and to have progressive heart disease. So um, the take home is really diet, exercise, um, smoking uh, cessation, uh, you know, obviously no alcohol during pregnancy, but mm -hmm. even moderation afterwards. Um, the, the typical things that we talk about during heart disease are very important uh, during and after pregnancy to prevent things down the road. Is this one of the reasons too? I know my OB is always like, is there anything going on abnormal? I mean, this is, this is one of those opportunities. You're seeing a doctor so often when sure. you're pregnant, you should really tell them every single little thing, right? Because it could be Absolutely. an actual issue. Yeah, I think, I think that's, that's really a key thing. During pregnancy, you're seeing a doctor regularly. Uh, you have these regular checkups. I think it really allows uh, doctors to uh, educate their patients that you know what you do now as a young woman can affect you um, later on in life and uh, and really affect your health and when they say one in four maternal deaths is that during birth itself during pregnancy right after it's, it's during pregnancy and during birth there's uh, there's a lot of diseases that occur yeah. in the heart right after pregnancy as well uh, so those are all kind of uh, it, it, uh, it's all part of that statistic. If somebody is having heart issues when they're pregnant and they're already, pre you know, already pregnant, they're already in there, what should they um, prepare for as far as birth goes? Because I know that's a very sure. stressful time. That's probably a lot of yeah. extra stress on your heart as well. But there's a whole different field in OBGYN uh, for high-risk pregnancy. So mm -hmm. you'll probably be uh, put in that high-risk category. You'll have a cardiologist uh, present for throughout your pregnancy as well, checking in on you. Um, there, are, there are women that have bad uh, heart disease that we recommend not become pregnant again because of the huge risk it poses both to the mother and the child. So unfortunately, some people aren't able to have kids because of their heart disease. But for the most part, we can manage their heart disease throughout pregnancy. As an uh, electrophysiologist or heart rhythm doctor, we have many women that have arrhythmias before pregnancy that get worse during pregnancy that we have to manage. Um, and sometimes we just have to say, you know, you're going to be a little uncomfortable at times, but there's not a lot we can do because the medications we use can be toxic to the fetus. Yeah, absolutely. So it's important, exercise, eat right, even when you have those cravings, obviously, um, and making sure that you get out there and, and tell your doctor what's going on if you have anything that's, that's strange. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for having me.